up, shut up. <laughs> Stanley Menifee, Limestone County Commission Chairman in here. Man, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, what'd you think about the election? Well, it was a good one. For who? <laughs> <laughs> no matter which way it comes out, it's good. Yeah, for who? <laughs> uh, but you're up here talking that. about, you're, you're going to be addressing the county at the, uh, at Sandridge Hall over at uh, Athens State. Right, I think it's the 27th, uh, Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm glad to do that. It's going to be new. I don't think it's ever been done with the county before. I know well, the right. mayor's done it. Right, mayor's Ronnie's done, done it. that. Uh, uh, what I may try to do is, what do they get? I've been around in politics a long time now, roughly 24 years, I believe, somewhere along that line. Okay. In and out, in and out, you know, I don't know. But uh, uh, I'd like to go back to show where Limestone County's come in 20 years, you know. Up to today, yeah, we're 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 up the ladder further than you think, right there. The county's done real well. Now you were a really. county commission. You, you were the chairman once before, right. and you were a commissioner also. Served six years as a district in District Two. That I served um, eight years in uh, uh, chairman's position. Then I was out eight years. And now you're back in. Back to so no one, no county com commission chairman has ever done a state of the county address. Not to my knowledge. Hmm. And Not you're going to be talking about what? How far Limestone County's come? Yeah, on, the, on the point where where Limestone County was, our roads, our cities, uh, the makeup of all that, and and the dollar numbers. The dollar numbers is something. Uh, you know, here we haven't had tax increases, but we have. We we went from from a from a nine to ten million dollar budget to a thirty-one or thirty-two million dollar budget today. So. How do we you, haven't actually raised Stanley, numbers. how do you handle all the influx of the new house, subdivisions and stuff that are over in uh, eastern Limestone County that's now Huntsville, Madison city limits and stuff like that? Right there, that's Brian Patterson right. does that, but uh, they, uh, they do the same, they, they pay the same taxes, you and me, or wherever you, whatever city you're in, they still pay the same county taxes that you do. And another thing people don't take into effect, if you commit a felony or any of those things like that, they go to Limestone County Jail. They don't go to Huntsville or Madison or Decatur. They go to Limestone County Jail. And their courts will be in Limestone County. So all of that comes back. So they do pay their tax for that right there. All right. <laughs> Anything shock you that about Bill Dawes losing to Ben Harrison? I thought it would be a close race. That's where I thought along. I really thought Bill Ben and incumbent would have the advantage. I really thought that. Was he a thorn in your side from time to time? Oh well, occasionally uh, that's that can that can go a lot of ways. I can be a thorn in somebody else's, you know. That's, yeah, heard that's that. what I do. There's nothing wrong with dis <laughs> disagreement, yeah, you know, other places too. Uh, uh, it can it can happen. I don't care where you. Uh, that's good government. Yeah. Sometimes to have a little difference but and iron things out. Bottom line, Limestone County's in good shape. Or are we? To my I guess knowledge. we'll find out when you give the speech. It, it, it just. Uh, I'm not planning anything right now. I think. Uh, we don't have that authority. But anyway, uh, uh, yes, I think Limestone County's in good shape. We've got some things coming down the road. The A-Trip program is coming down the state. It's going to take some good planning, some good managing. Even with district commissioners, they've got to get involved. We've got to stay involved. This, there's going to be some big improvements, I think, for the county right here in the next couple of years. This state of the county speech you're doing, is that free or is there a charge for lunch for that? Or are you $15, buying $15. I think oh, it's $15. $15. And you buy your ticket when you get, or buy your meal when you get there that day? I think they're going to sell advance tickets on that. I'm sure planning on food. Well, you'll let us know before that then. Yes. That's the Tuesday yes. after Thanksgiving. Tuesday after Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's on Thursday this year. Always. Two weeks from today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got to start putting this together too. You know, yeah, you need right. a speech writer. Uh, I'll have some folks helping me. All right, yeah. Stanley, thanks for coming up. It's always a pleasure to see you too, buddy. Roll Tide. Thank we got to take a break. I know I'm going to take some heat in a moment because, unfortunately, yes, I was are. forced to go to bed. You weren't forced. Well, I was forced myself. The other night with two minutes going in the game, we're going to talk with Dusty McElmore coming up in just a moment. We're going to talk about Veterans Day Parade, Lawler's Barbecue, Jim Kelly, and uh, yeah. the other fisherman in here this morning, He's too. Here. Gary Lawler in here. We'll talk with them in just a moment. Y'all, hang on.